In this video I was going to show you guys how Polyworks kind of makes uh, makes their file formats or how it divides out its its files here. Um, so today I'm going to talk about workspaces a little bit. Let me come up here and just fire up. I'll double click Polyworks. I'm using V14. But notice when I pull up this, um, the first click on Polyworks, I get this Workspace Manager. Okay, this is how they start the foundation of all measurements is, uh, is this workspace. So it's kind of personal preference on how you guys want to divide out your workspaces. Maybe you want to divide them out based on a, a family of parts or based on a certain part uh, that might have some, some different measurements underneath that same part. So that's personal preference up to you guys. So that's how a workspace will be the first thing that you guys will load up. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick save here. I'll go File. I'm going to Save As. And we've typically got a got a client's drive here at Diverse Dimensions, so I've got a bunch of clients underneath there. So let me save this under my training stuff. That seems to be a good spot. I don't have anything underneath there now. But under training stuff, let's call this the workspace demo. And I'll hit save there a second. So now look what it's done. Is Polyworks has set up this little workspace here called a workspace demo. But what I wanted to show you guys is what it's doing here in your files. Let's go to the Windows Explorer, go under my C colon clients, and run down to training stuff. Okay, so this is what it's setting up. So look at the finger pointer is what I call it here. Here's the workspace demo. That is the workspace for Polyworks. Look at how tiny it is, 1K. And then underneath that is a folder. Underneath this, this folder training stuff is the workspace demo files or underscore files. Now this is what um, where all the information for projects and report layouts and point cloud data, all that stuff is going to end up showing up underneath this folder. Okay, so I wanted to at least give you a quick little review of what that is going to, um, where Polyworks is storing their, um, their workspace stuff. But underneath here too, you can play with this. You can edit, put some notes under here. This is very, very cool. It's a good one-stop shopping for showing you information about this workspace. So be sure to go through the other video I have on projects too and how you can create projects underneath this workspace.